Good morning everyone, Easy here, and well, we're back again playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Ooh, I'm tired because basically I stayed up last night and just played this game. <laughs> like I said, I will be playing it off camera, so when we get to the island, I'll, c I'll catch you guys up to speed. As Wayne Campbell would say. I got my morning coffee right beside me right here. You know, sipping and chilling. How do you guys like your coffee? I like it black. I'm a black coffee type of guy. Alright, Nook's got an announcement. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 9.59 a.m. this happy Saturday, March 21st, 2020. Now for today's news. As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Jabasco. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Jabasco. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. I do hope y'all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Javasco living. Whew. I'm just as excited as when I started the game. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're probably like, whoa, whoa, easy. What the heck is all of this? You're living in a house. You got these flowers. You got a, you got a hat, a backpack. What the heck is going on here? Well, like I said, stayed up playing last night, and I originally wasn't going to do this, but I skipped ahead a day <laughs> yesterday so I could play online with Coleman and some of my other friends. And one of my friends hooked me up with a lot of stuff, like as you see we got a slingshot, a ladder, a vaulting pole, we have a shovel now. And this is stuff I was meant to get today, but I got it yesterday because uh, because I skipped forward a day, the airport got set up and I was able to fly. We also got some new fruit, I'll show you guys that, but looks like we got some mail. Yeah, I ordered some stuff. Okay, so, uh, before I really got into the game, I kind of underestimated Nook Miles, but they are actually really important. You can buy lots of cool stuff with Nook Miles. In fact, that's how we upgraded our house. Um, after the first episode, I just earned Nook Miles. Yeah, we upgraded. Ooh, that's a new bug. Here we are. Flimsy net. What is it? Caught a tiger beetle. I pounced first. Oh yeah, and we also got a recipe uh, to make better tools, so now they won't be breaking all the time. As you can see right here, my little fish and bug collection grew, but today we're going to be able to donate all these bugs and fish. So that's good, won't be as cluttered. Ooh, golden spot. Nice, 1,000 bells. Uh, I think money trees are still a thing in this game, but I'll just keep the bells. I need it after working on my debt. Oh yeah, guys, we're in debt to 98,000 bells now. <laughs> That's cool. Actually, this is a money tree right here that I planted. Wow, look at those morning skies. That's nice. I also did a lot of other stuff. Like when I was playing around 11 p.m. last night, I found Wisp, and I went on this mission to like catch all these spirits he lost and stuff. I didn't get anything cool out of it, sadly. It was like a lovely bed, and you know how that crap is. Or maybe you don't. It's just it was like a big bed with a lot of hearts on it. It was stupid. Um I shot down a balloon present 
and the wheelchair came down, so I'm giving it the Tom Nook because, let's face it, he's getting a little old and a little chubby, so, you know, might as well break the news to him with a wheelchair. Right, let's see how Blathers is doing. What is up, my man? Ooh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you are Easy, the personage who chose the location for this tent? Heck yeah, that's me. Ah, splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what. Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substain substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils are required. But the river, you say? I can't... Okay, he's gonna give us a vaulting pole. Uh, we kinda like already have one because my friends are nice. Who, silly you, I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entire deserted island. Pardon me, Easy, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Wait, what's he? What? I thought he was just gonna hand me a vaulting pole. I didn't know I was gonna get it. Oh, he's giving me the recipe, okay. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, who do you? Sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Easy, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on for far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit, 15 more to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Okay, well lucky for us, uh, while I was exploring the land yesterday with my vaulting pole, this was late at night, I already found some fossils. And I think I dug up a fossil on camera. Is that a weed? Yeah, it is. So we already got to start on this whole museum thing. And another thing, another project I've been working on is that Timmy and Tommy and Nook, they just, they want a shop in town, so I have to give them all these materials. And I've covered all the wood, but I need steel ingots. And we can get steel ingots by hitting rocks. Except they're really hard to get. <laughs> Look at all these fossils. I have a lot to donate. You guys haven't even seen all of it. You ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, hopefully I can get some steel ingots right here. Whoops. There we go. We need 30 steel ingots to build this new shop. Oh, money rock. That's a blast from the past. I haven't seen a money rock yet. Oh no! A position! Ooh, pill bug. There we go. Yes! Cut a pill bug? That's a tough act to swallow. Now 
Nice, nice, nice. Also, tonight I am thinking about recording, like, the stuff I do at night in this game. Don't get any wrong ideas. Um, but yeah, it's just... Playing this game at night is really cool. The atmosphere is very different from the morning atmosphere, as you can see. Morning atmosphere is very nice, very... Gives me a fresh day vibe, if you know what I mean. But, you know, in other Animal Crossing games, like, you had nighttime, and it was different from daytime, of course, but this game, I get a vibe that nighttime's significantly different. There's just something special about it. And hopefully I can get, get you guys some online gameplay, like, maybe get Coleman on Discord and stuff, and we can play online and I can record it. Oh, hey, Shaw. What brings you here? I'm gonna chat. I think I left my pot pourri jar at, at my last place. Shaw. It's not like I used it much, but still. Pot? What the heck is a pot pourri? You guys know? Oh, uh, my main man Rowan. He's got the picnic. Looking built, Mango. What's up? This weather really gets the muscles glistening, Mango. Yeah, it does. This is good weather. Speaking of weather, in real life, today's actually a very nice day. Oh yeah, with Nook Miles, I bought this item wheel. See, Nook Miles can do you a lot of cool stuff. Guess I ought to donate these fossils. And open this message in a bottle. To someone out there somewhere. I was messing around at the old tool bench and I came up with this DIY idea that you're holding right now. Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft up, craft up a brainstorm. Try it and see what happens. What is it? A kettle bathtub? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I kind of want to see what that looks like. Oh, cool. Ooh, too bad it takes iron nuggets. Ingots, I call them ingots, I'm sorry. All right, let's donate some stuff to my main man Blathers. Hopefully it'll be fast to donate in this game. Hopefully it won't take two billion years. My boys who played the GameCube version know what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, why'd I walk in the Nook's tent? <laughs> I'm still kind of drowsy from last night. I wonder how, like, Coleman stayed up playing this. Coleman has a reputation of staying up to, like, 4 a.m. and waking up at 6. But he doesn't do that a whole bunch. Like, he stays up late, but not that late. Make a donation. I got lots of stuff to donate, my man. Who? Indeed, there can be no doubt this is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Woohoo! Of course, a mammoth skull. Okay, that's a good start for fossils. <laughs> of course it can be, but one thing, a mammoth skull. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This mammoth skull would be a sizable step toward opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps... Yes, I'll donate it, Blathers. Gosh. Who, wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. 
Never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved man mammoth skull. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you now. Where to begin? Ah, mammoths, the bad boys and girls of the ancient mam mammal world. So woolly, so unkept. They are, of course, most famous for their size, which could be up to 13 tons for the largest males. But they were subject to no one's rules, and some species were smaller than modern elephants. Scientists have pondered for years, where, were mammoths the coolest of all extinct species? Perhaps so. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Yes, now then, this also applies to the fossil you brought this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate, donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else. I've got something. Um. Okay, I can't donate any more fossils. Wait, when did I get two tiger beetles? Huh. Guess I had two all along. Eek, a tiger beetle. The horror, the repugnance. Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Mm-hmm, I beg your pardon. Still... There's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. If you insist, that is. Yeah, tell me. Ah, oh, see, in that case, mm -hmm. the tiger beetle is extremely fleet of foot, though it runs in a rather pe peculiar way. That is, it sprints, then stops, and sprints again, using these speedy maneuvers to run down its prey. You see, the tiger beetle, like a real tiger, is a powerful predator. The mere thought of it giving of it giving chase gives me the willies. Tigers are terrifying at any size. We have a tiger in our town, Blathers. Better get out of here. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the, wreck the wretched thing will get the best of care here. By the way, I want... Uh, I do, but I don't want you guys to just have to watch me donate to blathers all day i'm guessing once we get the museum the process will be way faster but for now you know i'll do that off camera show you what it's like inside the house last time you saw me i was in the tent This is it. Really hasn't changed much. I got this mirror so I can like change the style of my hair stuff. Here, I'll show you all the stuff you can do. You can change your skin color, your hair. Oh yeah, and I also used Nick Miles to buy like new hairstyles. Look at this. This is my current hairstyle right now. But then you have all of these. Messy hair. Whatever this is, it's like a, I don't know, spiky, I don't know, fancy, fancy, bowl cut, modern guy hairstyle. So yeah, you get a lot of options, and I have one more hairstyle package to buy, so there's a lot of hairstyles. Remember yesterday when I was like, well, where's all the hairstyles? Well, that's where they are. I also bought this water cooler while I was in one of my friend's towns. Look, pours out water. Sometimes you can see bubbles go up. You can even hear them. So cool. Then I bought like this, um, it's like a Febreze thing. Yeah. There's a fish I caught yesterday. The fish come in like really cool tanks. Well, this one does at least. And you can like... The lights up and you can turn it on and off. This is a weird fish. I forgot what it's called. 
Oh, yeah, and then I was very surprised when I caught this. This football fish or angler fish. What a beast. <laughs> you can turn its little headlight off just by tapping the tank. It's funny. So, yeah, that's my house. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do that. You can close the windows. <laughs> I'll just show you guys the rest of the island. Hopefully I can find some rocks on the other side. For iron nuggets. Ooh. I don't have these yet. But, if you were to ask me if I regret going up a day yesterday, no, I don't regret it at all. I got a wharf roach. This water-loving roach has no peer. No, I don't- oh, crap. Yeah, I don't regret time traveling at all. Because it got me just a faster start on the game. Like, I'm just enjoying it way more. And I got to play online with friends yesterday. That was a whole lot of fun. It was way worth it. So when you get the game, and if you don't want to be stuck in a slow part at the very beginning, just go up a day. It, it'll make your life just way better, you know. You'll get more enjoyment out of the game overall, so you don't have to wait. Wait for all the good stuff. Ooh! Oh, darn it! Don't have that. Oh, my net broke anyways, so... But yeah, look at all these layers we can traverse. We're so high up in the air. This is where I want to move my house sometime. Well, when I'm able to move it. I want to move it on some of these top layers or one of them at least I don't know which one Whew. Ooh. hopefully I can get some iron nuggets that item wheel is really convenient very happy about it. It was only like, I think, 800 nook miles? Four? No, not 400. I'm not sure, but the price wasn't bad. The price was right. Yo, give me iron. Just stone? There we go. Oh, that was a. Mmm. That was a bad turnout. We only got one, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Hmm. Oh, but hit this rock. Oh, yeah, there we are. Alright, alright. We got one. It's not bad. Is that a roly-poly or a pill bug? Or wait, are roly-polies and pill bugs considered to be the same thing? I don't know. Let's see, did I get all that stuff? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> Got some nook miles. Five hundred. Right now, I'm earning nook miles for an inventory expansion. An inventory expansion costs 5,000 nook miles, which may seem like a lot, 
but it's really not that bad considering Nook Miles just kind of build up. Ooh, there are a lot of balloon presents in this game. I love it. I love these little surprises. Whoops. Why is the... Why is the shadow right there? <laughs> Usually you stand below the shadow, but... I guess that's not always how it works in this game. Oh darn it. Let's see what I can swap it with. Mm. Since I already donated one. document stack <laughs> oh yeah as you can see this is the spot where I was like I I wanted to put my house there but I didn't realize it until I placed my t <clears throat> until I placed my tent down so you know if I can't have the spot I'll at least let blathers have it because blathers is my dog He's my owl, but he's also, you know how it is, he's my dog. He's my dog right there. I'm going to show you guys some of my packages. This is Unboxing with Easy Part 2. So we got a song right here. Aloha KK. And I got this cool t-shirt. Um, with the online feature, you can order stuff for your friends. So I also ordered one of these for Coleman. Here's what it looks like. It has like weird Korean text on it. I just thought it looked cool. Whoa, this is the music from the from City Folk when you go to the city. Oh, that's cool. I love it. I'm loving it. I think I'm gonna display this on my wall. Oh yeah, <laughs> I like that. You guys haven't seen this yet. The grid feature. Uh, how do I... There we go. Alright. Um... I was... Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Looking good. Let's see what this looks like. Whoops. Oh, I got so much work. I'm so stressed out. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's that. <laughs> Wonder if I have any room to set small items like on the sides of this table. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can access storage from your house. You get all this space. 80 slots for 80 items. And I'm pretty sure you can upgrade it. Not 100% sure, but... Nope, you can't do that. But I can do this. <laughs> Got my work on my anglerfish tank. Um... I had to store these fossils. I'll donate them later. Um, I can use that tire. I can use those stones. Put this in storage because I'm just gonna donate it. All right. Oh yeah, also about this backpack, it doesn't do anything. Like it should expand your inventory, but it doesn't. It's all right though, it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, I was gonna make this. I caught like an old tire yesterday. Oh, 
entire toy. Now we can have two seats. There we go. Now I can get some friends and we can chill on tires. So basically the only item I'm in desperate need of right now is an iron nugget. No, it looks like I'm almost sitting down, but I'm actually clenching my abs. Oh wow, it's kind of like uh, wall sits, except you're sitting on the ground. Okay. How many times am I going to bump into you today? Hang on, am I being pranked? Is there a hidden camera? Yes, it's Impractical Jokers. You met Blathers. Yeah, that's weird grammar. You met Blathers yet? Oh, you met Blathers yet? Okay. Wow, does he ever love talking about fossils and fish and bugs and stuff? Like, he never stops. He just keeps talking and talking and talking. You do learn a lot, though. Yes, I've learned a lot from Blathers. I've learned more from Blathers than I have at school. I had to show you guys some of the cool things you can buy with Nook Miles. I don't believe I've accessed this machine on camera yet. Oh, you get miles just by accessing it. Um, that's where you pay off your debt right there. See, so that's a ticket you can buy to go to Mystery Island. I did that yesterday. Another thing I need to get on camera. Um, you can buy recipes. Then you have like all these cool items. Uh, just Nook Inc. merchandise. Which is awesome. It brings me back to the GameCube days. When you had to wear the work shirt and it had the Nook logo. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Then I guess I'll chip off on my debt right here. See, it was 98000 yesterday. So we're, we're alright. We're working on it. Now I'm broke. <laughs> um. Oh, this is like... Uh, I was going to say this is like my catalog, but it's not. I don't have this stuff. It's just random crap you can buy. What's for sale? No, I can't buy anything. Campfire. I don't want any of that. Well, actually, the campfire... Um, may buy that. We'll see. Well, that's about it for now, guys. Um, I guess I'll start working on donating all this stuff to the museum. And maybe I'll even record tonight. I don't know how long this video's been going on. I kind of promised you guys I would make shorter videos. But then again, I still want to have fun. So, you know, <clears throat> um, go along with your day, and I will see y'all in the evening time. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. So, basically, it's been a whole day, and I haven't stopped playing Animal Crossing. Most of it has just been a grind, if I'm being honest. So, you didn't miss out on too much. As you can see, I got some furniture today, like... I switched up my house a little. I got this toaster. Uh, I found a lot of this stuff from shooting down balloon presents. And I got this espresso maker. It's really cool. Make coffee. Um. Oh yeah, and I made some patterns. I drew Blastoise like the pixel art you see in Fire Red. And. My friend Aiden gave me that fish.
think that's all that's changed so far. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta let my cat out of my room. Alright. Sorry about that. He's back in now. Um, okay, so here's some new fish I caught. I went to, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but there's a mystery island you can go to by buying a ticket with Nook Miles. I caught a lot of cool fish. It, I made lots of money there too, but these are the ones I'm saving to donate. As you can see right here is a swordfish, or what they call a blue marlin. And right here in the freaking swimming pool <laughs> is, um, I forgot what it's called, the oarfish. This is how big it is. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Believe it or not, I caught three of these, including this one. So, I guess fishing on the mystery island is good to do at nighttime. <laughs> because I caught a whole bunch of stuff. I just gotta show you guys my bank account now. Oh, and I completed uh, gathering all the materials for the shop today. That was... It was hard at first. You can go to the mystery island to get more iron nuggets. That was the problem I was having. I couldn't find enough iron nuggets and rocks and stuff. But my friend James was just like, hey, here's some iron nuggets. I went over to his town today. It was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, also when you go to Mystery Islands, you'll find like different villagers you can ask to move to your island. So I asked two pretty cool villagers that I think you guys will like. And I ask them if they want to move in, and they're like, yeah, heck yeah, let's do it. Also, we get the museum tomorrow. I'm pretty pumped. We get the museum and Top Nook Shop. Tomorrow's going to be a big day in Javasco. Let me just say that. Yeah, here's all the money I earned today. <laughs> 127,000 bells from fishing. I ought to deposit some of this, too. <laughs> Funny number. Oh, yeah. I also got stung by some wasps. That's why my eyes are swollen. And let's see, what else did I do? that thing there it's like a rock with water also hold on look at the night sky that's awesome we got a crescent moon with stars and stars beautiful I also got these uh, new types of flowers when I went to James James's town I don't know what they are but they're there and they're all right I'm working on breeding some flowers like by my house, I have two red roses that I watered. And hopefully we can get a black rose tomorrow. We're gonna have so much stuff. Um, just new stuff tomorrow. I upgraded that little campfire we had before. Now it's like I'm cooking chili or something. Planted roses. You know, just the place is starting to come together a bit more. <sighs> I am getting tired though because I stayed up late last night playing this game as well. Oh yeah, we also got gold. I don't know what you can do with gold, but I mean you have to be able to do something cool with it because each piece of gold is 9,000 bells. Also planted lots of, um, lots of coconut trees around my beach. For some reason I wanted to say bamboo, but I planted bamboo right by the entrance. I don't know how long it'll take to grow in, but James hooked me up with some bamboo. Yeah. Well been a fun day. I just spent all of it playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> Lots of grinding. 
But lots of fun, too. Hmm. It's cool that I'm getting the film in the night like this. I like it. Maybe sooner or later I can get some footage of the Mystery Island. And, you know, we'll just see what happens on Javasco. How the place grows. But for now, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please squeeze that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next one.